Good afternoon guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing fantastically well. I'm back again very soon after my last review of Paranormal Activity 3. I don't usually have too much time to do videos, but lately I've got a, a bit of free time on my hands, so I thought I'll do as many reviews as possible leading up to the big day of Halloween. Now, I'm, I'm a little bit red. Um, I've been in the sun today. I was coaching, so um, I didn't put too much sunscreen on. I wore a hat, but that didn't seem to do anything. The, the sun can be quite harsh here in Australia. So if I look like a little bit of a tomato, then I, I apologise. But anyway, hopefully that doesn't distract you from this review. Now this is a foreign horror film, or it's a thriller, not so much a horror. It's from South Korea, so South Korean language, English subs, released in 2009, directed by Jun Ho Bong, and this movie is called Mother. And the story is as follows. Hyo Ja is a single mum to 27-year-old Do Jun. Though an adult in years, Du Jun is naive and dependent on his mother, and sometimes behaves in ways that are stupid or simply dangerous. He is a constant source of anxiety for everyone. One day, a young girl is found dead in an abandoned building, and Du Jun is accused of her murder. An inefficient lawyer and an apathetic police force that closes Du Jun's case too quickly inspire his mother to act on her own, to act as mother in, this, in its purest form. Summoning all her maternal instincts and trusting no one, she sets out to find a killer and prove her son's innocence. So we have the story of a mother. She is a single mother. We don't know what happened to the father. Well, if you do, I can't remember. So she's raising her 27-year-old son on her own. Now, although this guy is 27, he doesn't act like a 27-year-old. He's got some kind of problem. He's a halfwit, and he doesn't really know the difference between right and wrong. So he's constantly getting in trouble, and he's a, he's a constant source of anxiety for his mother so she's constantly having to look after him so one day there is a, a murdered girl on top of this roof and um, Du Jun who is the, the woman's son uh, he has been spotted at the crime scene so evidence suggests that it's Du Jun who murdered her but the mother doesn't agree with this she is convinced that her son couldn't do such a thing and that her son was framed so the police force are useless. Uh, they pretty much close the case very, very quickly. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what evidence they base it on, but it is quite um, vague. And, you know, it kind of feels like the police force couldn't be bothered. Now, I know the police force in South Korea back a few years ago were quite incompetent, uh, from what I've been told. So this paints just how incompetent the police force were. And so it's pretty much an open and shut case, and the son has been condemned to jail. Now, the mother doesn't take too kindly to this, of course. And she uh, feels that he's been set up and he's been mistreated. So instead of accepting the, the fact that her son is going to spend a long time in jail, she sets out to find out the truth um, in whether you know her son was really responsible for this death or if someone else indeed has set him up, as she thinks. So as she goes further and further on a journey to, um, to, to discover the truth and um, prove that her son is innocent, she uncovers a few truths of her own. So I'm not going to tell you how it unfolds. It's something you're going to have to watch to find out for yourself. But hopefully that synopsis has left a, uh, a level of curiosity that makes you want to go out and see the film for yourself. Now my thoughts on the film. I think the biggest problem for this film was the fact that I saw it after I saw films like I Saw the Devil, Bedeviled, Old Boy, all of those classic South Korean films, and I had a, you know, of course, you know, a standard of those type of films has a bar set really, really high, and, you know, I was um, putting this one up with them, which was quite unfair, because it's going to be very rare, you know, it's uh, a miracle that so many films could be so good, so it's only um, reality that, you know, not every film is going to match that standard, so I had this one at such a high standard, it didn't meet that standard, and at first I thought it was a crap movie, but having seen it again, it's very well made, and it is a very good film, it's just that the films that I've just mentioned were so much better, because they are masterpieces, and this is not a masterpiece, but it is a good film. Now, it's shot beautifully. The cinematography, as all South Korean films are, are shot in a very unique way, very high quality. It is a fairly um, big budget, or it appears to be a big budget, and it does have a very South Korean feel. Now, although it's not like I Saw the Devil or Bedeviled, all those kinds of films, it does have that sort of flavour. So fans of that type of film will get something out of this one because you can really feel the depressing kind of atmosphere and environment that this woman is facing when she realises that no one believes that her son is innocent. 
The acting was great, especially from the two leads. The mother was brilliant. I thought the son was even better. Uh, he plays a real halfwit. He doesn't, you know, he really is mentally inept. And, you know, they painted very real characters and sympathetic characters because although this son got into a lot of trouble, it kind of felt that, you know, you felt sympathy for him because he obviously has a mental problem and he can't, he doesn't know any better. So you kind of, um, but you especially feel for the mother. No one respects this mother. They're all blaming the mother for raising a son that could kill someone. So a lot of sympathy for the main two characters, which is what, you know, it, they're the ingredients for a very good film. Now, there's not too much blood. If I had another negative towards this film, a more of a negative is the pacing. I thought in some parts it was a little bit draggy. And, you know, considering the pacing of I Saw the Devil, I thought that was brilliantly done. Uh, the pacing goes nowhere near that. I actually thought the pacing got a little bit stuck, like another South Korean film called Chaser. I thought in areas it was really good, but in other areas it kind of drags. So it doesn't really sustain a level of... Um, suspense all the way through it but there are some scenes of suspense and the um the transformation that this woman has from um a victim and she starts getting angry at the world and you know her transformation can be quite terrifying as well but in a very very subtle way so the ending i thought was really cool i mean i really liked it i'm not going to tell you how it unfolds but i thought it was typical south korean fashion that it um how it uh, resolved so um, yeah a lot to like about the film but as I said if you're expecting something like I saw the devil you're going to be disappointed as I said it drags a little bit it goes for two hours maybe it could have been cut down by a few so it feels like an epic movie whereas you know if I think they cut it down by about 20 minutes or so it could have been even better but that's just my opinion now a lot of South Korean um, films are quite long so it's something unique it's got a very very South Korean flavor and I thought the story was interesting enough, but I just think they could have done it a little bit better. As far as the gore's concerned, it's not really that brutal. It really does focus on the psychology and the um, suspense and the environment. And, you know, it's kind of just the, as it says on the back, beautifully made. A superb murder mystery with twists coming thick and fast. Paced like a Hitchcock suspense thriller. Not quite sure if I would compare it to a Hitchcock suspense thriller. It does have a level of suspense, but as I said, it does it fails to deliver in you know in a sustained kind of way. Now it is a mystery film more than a horror film, so like, it's more of a who done it. And as she goes on a, a, a voyage of discovery, you kind of suspect some people, but then you know they're cleared, so you kind of go on to the next person. So it's kind of that kind of film. And, you know, if you're expecting something like Ice or the Devil, you're going to be disappointed. But treat this one on its own merit. It is a very well-made film. I was a little bit unfair on it the first time I saw it. So you really have to go in, into this one with a very fresh sort of expectation. And, you know, it, it is a good film. I will say that it's a very good film, but it's not great. So uh, that's my review of Mother. Uh, a good film, and I would highly recommend it if you're a fan of the later sort of South Korean stuff. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that review, and until next time, hopefully I'll come back sooner rather than later. So until then, take care of yourselves, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye.